Hello children. Hope you all are happy and healthy and safe. I hope you all are enjoying your classes. Yes? Okay, welcome to today's English class. Children, can you name these vehicles that you see on the slide? Yes, you can see a scooter, a bicycle, then a car. What else? A ship, helicopter, bus, train. Yes, so many vehicles are there. These vehicles are different means of transport. Isn't it children? These are the different means of transport and we use these to travel to different places. Okay? These can be land transport, water transport and air transport. We use them to travel by land, by water or by air. Now what are these? Yes. Can you see the different types of trains? Have you ever travelled by a train? It's a very enjoyable experience to travel by train. We can see the fields, the hills and the cities. All rushing past us. Isn't it children? The train rushes on and everything leaves, gets left behind. Isn't it? It's an exciting feeling. It's a wonderful feeling to see that all are left behind and we are just going ahead, rushing on. Isn't it? Now, uh, see, this is also a train where uh, you can see that every it's rushing on, rushing fast ahead. Now let us recite a poem on trains. Okay, the name of the poem is Trains and the poet of the poem is James S. Tippett. So let's enjoy the poem, Trains. Over the mountains, over the plains, over the rivers, here come the trains. Carrying passengers, carrying mail, bringing their precious loads in without fail. Thousands of freight cars all rushing on, through day and darkness, through dusk and dawn. Over the mountains, over the plains, over the rivers, here come the trains. Isn't it a wonderful poem? Yes, the trains carry passengers, the trains carry mail for us, letters for us, parcel for us. Isn't it? And they just keep on traveling day and night. Okay, let us recite it once again. Over the mountains, over the plains, over the rivers, here come the trains. Carrying passengers, carrying mail, bringing their precious loads in without fail. Thousands of freight cars all rushing on, through day and darkness, through dusk and dawn. Over the mountains, over the plains, over the rivers, here come the trains. Okay, it's a wonderful poem. Now let us come to know the meaning of some words that we have uh, read in this poem. Okay, some new words like freight. Can you spell this word? F-R-E-I-G-H-T Freight are the goods or the things that the trains carry. Okay, many things are not available in our place or in any other place. So, the trains carry things from one place to another. Okay, and there are two types of trains. Passenger trains and goods train. Can you see the picture above? Yes, these are goods train. They carry things. And you can also see oil tanker trains. Okay, they carry fuel, oil. From one place to another. They also carry mail. Can you see? These are postal trains. Okay. Suppose we, we write letters or we send parcels to our friends or relatives who stay far away in another part of the country. So, trains carry these letters. 
now another word was dawn okay dawn is the time uh, bef just before sunrise okay children before sunrise when there is light in the morning okay and that is known as dawn dawn and the opposite of dawn is dusk it is the time of sunset okay children now enjoy this train rushing on you can see the guard waving the green flag to the train and the train is going round and round isn't it okay so you will all recite the poem and then send an audio clip to me thank you